Hey there, Tubbies. Welcome back to 2230. If you're enjoying this content and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. We love creating content for you and appreciate your support. Let's get started. On May 17, 2023, Indonesian Minister of Communication and Information Technology Johnny G. Plate was arrested on corruption charges. Plate is accused of embezzling more than $500 million from a government program to build mobile phone towers in remote areas. Plate's arrest is a major blow to President Joko Widodo's credibility on corruption. Widodo has made fighting corruption a top priority of his administration, but the recent arrests suggest that corruption is still a major problem in Indonesia. There are a number of possible reasons for Plate's arrest. One possibility is that he is guilty of the charges against him. Another possibility is that he is being used as a scapegoat by Widodo's administration to deflect attention from other corruption cases. It is also possible that Plate is being arrested for political reasons. It is important to note that Plate has not been convicted of any crime. He is innocent until proven guilty. However, the fact that he has been arrested on such serious charges is a major development in the fight against corruption in Indonesia. The arrest of Plate has raised a number of questions about the government's commitment to fighting corruption. Widodo has made a number of promises to crack down on corruption, but the recent arrests suggest that the government is still struggling to address the problem. It is important for the government to take a transparent and accountable approach to the fight against corruption. The government should also ensure that all allegations of corruption are investigated thoroughly and that those who are found guilty are punished accordingly. The arrest of Plate is a reminder that corruption is still a major problem in Indonesia. The government needs to do more to address the problem if it wants to create a more just and equitable society. In addition to the possible reasons mentioned above, there are a few other factors that could have contributed to Plate's arrest. One possibility is that he was caught up in a larger corruption scandal. Another possibility is that he was targeted by political opponents who wanted to discredit him. It is also possible that he was simply unlucky and was caught in the crosshairs of the anti-corruption campaign. Whatever the reason for his arrest, Plate's case is a reminder that corruption is a serious problem in Indonesia. It is also a reminder that the fight against corruption is not easy and that there will be setbacks along the way. However, it is important to remember that the fight against corruption is worth fighting, and that it is possible to make progress even in the face of challenges. Thanks for tuning in to this response video. If you want to stay up to date on the latest reactions and responses, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I love reading your comments and feedback. Once again thank you for viewing and I hope to see you on the next video.